hear why I don't want to listen to X. Does that young man know that Jesus died for his sins <clears throat> and, it, and that um, yes, God loves you enough and wants to bring light into your life? So we just, just <laughs> uh, but but have a good have a good day, buddy. Bye bye. All right. All right. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I, I, I used to have XM. It's a couple of things about it. One thing, it kept raising the price. And another yeah. thing, the advertisements are just as much. Yeah. And then, call me what you want. But uh, <clears throat> during the time of, uh, oh gosh, what's the Jewish Passover season? Oh, it's, it's a two week thing that they do. Uh, Celebrations, two week celebration, but they don't call it Passover, Hanukkah. Yeah, I think that's it. I think yeah. anyway, they wanted to on XM celebrate that, so they set aside, so they eliminated a channel to put this in for two weeks, which is okay. But the channel that they eliminated was bluegrass, mm. the channel that they left up was the gay channel. Mm. It stayed going for two weeks. Uh, or the whole time. It, 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 I'm thinking, if you're going to take something off the air for two weeks, take off the garbage. Well, you I, could take off those vulgar joke uh, co yeah. comedy channels. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Don't take off. And I got so mad about it till I'd, I'd stop my subscription. Right then. I you stopped know, it right then. I just we mentioned public radio earlier and when i was a truck driver i listened to public radio oh, yeah. oh, a yeah. lot to it and there was a lot of really good stuff there there is there and is. i used to hear people talking about how liberal they were and i was thinking well they weren't that bad but there was one day and it wasn't it wasn't their news but it was one of these you know they do little shows mm -hmm. and they were they talk about different people's lives and they were interviewing uh a transsexual mm -hmm. that was a um I think it was a, a boy that wanted to be a girl, and Usually. and they were underage, and they were living on the street, and he became a prostitute, mm -hmm. and he was talking about, you know, it's not a problem for me to jack off an old man in order to get some drugs mm -hmm. to make me into a woman, and I'm thinking, this is like a primer for some kid yes, it is. to yes, learn it is. how to be a prostitute and to learn how to get drugs <laughs> yep. to change his sex. <laughs> And they're playing this on public radio for the whole world to hear. And I was like, you know, that's not that's, good. that's that's. I mean, uh, I've got I've got relatives who are doing that in today's well, world. I mean, it's it's happening. And uh, public radio, but the idea that, <coughs> that they're teaching people and and they're <coughs> idealizing it. I mean, the way they were presenting this person, it's this fine. person was like a hero. Yep. It was a, it's like a hero, underage prostitute, talking about jerking off old men for twenty five dollars, and how they did it, and how the other older yeah. transvestites supported them. I'm like, ah, I can't take this. <laughs> that, know? and I tell you something else, they do. They promote homosexuality. Yes, they also promote vigorously racial division. Yeah. Every single day, they do a race story of history, of something. You know, they get these people on that have nothing better to do than to feel sorry for themselves uh, 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 about racism and whatnot. I know racism exists. I understand that I'm, I, completely. I'm part of it. But I'm just saying, it's not good for you to dwell on other people's faults. You go on with your life and make your life better. And it, it's just one story after the other about how bad white America is. Yeah. That's what it is. It's one story right after the other. Now this is, uh, I believe, well, it's about this tree. Is the other? Is the other? Is the landline where we'll go back onto my other sister? So this is this is my sister's. That's my sisters and this is law to the kids <laughs> if that makes sense so, yeah about this old tree right here is the landline you just can't see it <laughs> and
and another thing, and this is one of the first things, and this was quite some time ago, um, they have a, I guess this guy's something, he's, he's like a satirical commentator, mm -hmm. and he did a Christmas piece about being a gay guy that posed as Santa for a department store and how all the Santas were drunk and fighting and gay. And mm -hmm. and, and that became a, a Christmas classic. Now, every year, they play this, ser this, this these stories. The ridicule of Christianity. Yeah, yeah. It, it basically takes uh, the old world that we grew up with that, was, that had some innocence to it and tells the story from the point of view of a very sarcastic gay guy. And it's first time I heard it, I didn't like it. Now I have to, if I listen, if I'm half public radio on, I'll hear them replay this every year as though, hey, this is the Christmas story, except it's about a, mm -hmm. a very sarcastic well, gay yeah. guy that, that, you know, it's like, no. <laughs> What happened to you guys? You know, I used to support you. I used to, I used to do public radio. Yeah, I, I was a commentator. I contributed to. I was a commentator for, for main public radio for ten years. Oh my! Yeah, and then yeah, like, I heard you say that on your podcast yeah. with Josh. Yeah, I, yeah, I did hear you say that. I, uh, Dave Rubin, said it well. I think in his podcast. Now he's uh, not so sure about God. He don't call himself an atheist. I guess he calls himself maybe an agnostic sort of. Mm. Not even that. He won't even go that far. But he's uh, he's queer. He's married to a man and is or lives with one, whatever. Anyway, he's a homosexual. But he said this college crowd that they're raising up now with these professors. Yeah. He said, I understand that they won't that they see things different. But to, to think that just because you turn 22 years old, that all of a sudden, that everybody else in history is wrong, and you've got all the answers. He said, that's, that's just silly. Mm -hmm. He said, of course there's things that's been done or said or whatever, things that's happened that's wrong, but you don't throw away the whole history and say, okay, we're going to start all over and we know the way everything should be. Mm -hmm. He says it's, it's, it's just the foolishness of youth, you know, to think, and and, that, and it's true. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he said that well, because you don't just kick out. In other words, it's like they're saying our parents were wrong about everything. Yeah, which is what you're going to say when you're at that age, <laughs> you know. And the college professors back them up. Uh, because as Jordan Peterson says, the the scientist and the, uh, the the professional college professors are the one that couldn't do good enough to make a living in their profession, mm -hmm. so they teach. Right. <laughs> that's that's the way he looked at it. Yeah. I might have took this thing out of four wheel drive too early. Yeah. I did, I forgot about this little spot. It's a little slippery today. We well, might make it. We almost did. Well, we're still we're moving. Still moving at. I was thinking it might be going to stop. But I don't want to plow it up. But then again, we'll try one more shot at it. There we go. Easy as she goes. So that's the trip to the other place. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. That's uh, the trip to the other place. This is uh bear in mind this is not normal. Right. It's but it's kinda nice. nice. Fresh water. <laughs> it's no fresh water. Yeah. <laughs> kinda nice to have it though. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, well it's it's what uh the way nature works. Yeah. Know?
They gets hot and it gets cold. It gets wet and it gets dry. That's yeah. the way the world. He, he said it. He done a good job of setting it up to work, didn't he? Yeah, sure <laughs> did. He hasn't had to go back and correct anything. He's made it work for a long time. And what was the name of the preachers you were talking about? Because you were talking about preachers that I don't know. Tony Evans. Tony Evans. Is one of my favorite preachers. Yeah. James Merritt is a good preacher. James Merritt. And Alistair Begg is an excellent preacher. Alistair who? Begg. Alistair Begg. B-E-G? B-E-G-G. B-E-G-G. Alistair Begg. He's uh, 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 from Ireland. Yeah. And... Uh, I got a matter of fact. I got a stick. I give you got a you got a stick that you can play on your radio. I mean, um, would your radio play one of these? I don't know. Memory stick. Mine. Um, I don't know. I got a series of sermons he done, uh -huh. and you can have it because I've I've listened uh -huh. to on Joseph. Yeah. It's like uh, I think it's like seventeen sermons. That's that's quite a while. Long time. Yeah. Hmm. But it is, it is, oh, it is so good on Joseph. Yeah. Just the story of Joseph. Just the story of Joseph. Uh, of course, if you don't have time to listen to stuff, that's hard to do. But see, I drive a truck, so I get, yeah. I get oh, yeah. to listen to that stuff. Right. And uh, gosh, it's good. Uh, I know I used to listen to every book on tape I could get. Oh, yeah. Back when I was yeah. in a truck, because yeah. I got so sick of everything on the radio. I got a bunch of old books on tape. So yeah. And and a bunch I got. I started. I joined the library in Brunswick. Yeah. So I could go and get books on tape. Yeah. And stuff and all. Uh, just borrow them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But I got CDs and stuff, and then I started downloading them on my phone. The only problem with the audio books on your phone, you can't share it. You can't get off on it. If you buy it from iTunes. Yeah. You can put it in a memory stick off your computer. Right. We don't have a computer anymore. Oh. We quit with the computer. Oh. And we went out of uh, business and all, and our computer tore up the last time. All I right. told Kate, I said, we don't need a computer. All right. We got an iPad. That's all we need. All right. And because uh, we can print off of it. Mm -hmm. You could go to websites on it. You could buy stuff from Amazon. So that keeps you broke. <laughs> that way you're not spending your money on wild women and drugs, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Amazon. That's another thing that's changed this world, hasn't it? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. It has. So let me let me bring up a different subject with and a lot of this ain't gonna make it to YouTube for sure, you know, but uh I got a we we're talking about the transsexual thing. My wife's got a a granddaughter, a granddaughter who's decided to be a boy, taking testosterone, saving money to get her breast removed. Oh, My gosh. daughter is doing the same thing. She's decided to be a boy, she's taking testosterone. She's talking about having breast reduction. She's changed her name to a name that doesn't sound like it's feminine legally and uh, you know the state will now put it on her driver's license not that she's male or, or but it'll, it'll anyway the state recognizes her as male now years ago I heard about big food companies Monsanto and food companies like that doing genetic modification on seeds that would disrupt the sexual patterns of insects so that the insects couldn't reproduce. I've never thought of that. And I know that they went to the point of suing farmers that had fields next to their fields because of cross-pollinization. Mm -hmm. They didn't want the farmers' corn or wheat to cross-pollinize with their genetic wheat. So they wanted their genetic wheat to be superior and they had enough money to sue the farmers out of business mm -hmm. so that the only seeds left were their seeds 
And now it's been a few, you know, generation or two or three. I've got a daughter that's female that wants to be a male. My wife has a daughter that's female and wants to be a male. And they've been raised on food that came from the shopping center that was raised by these big companies that modified the seeds and the wheat and the corn. And I wonder, is that why? I never heard of people doing this before. And now I hear about it all the time. They're even, you know, Obama made the schools have full bathrooms because there's so many people doing it. Oh, he was so, so you, do you think that's coming from, you I know, have that never, sort I've of thing? I never thought about that. But it's entirely possible. We don't know. You know, that's the thing. Oh, we don't know.